Hello everyone. Welcome to the Charlie Company. Collective, so nice of you to join me today to receive the message from the spiritual realm as to what you should know and advice as how you should proceed on this journey. I want to thank all my new subscribers and thank everyone for liking the videos as well as subscribing to the channel. And when you do, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check your notification bell and just go up to all and just hit all. That way you will be alerted of any new videos. Well, all the new videos <laughs> and other wonderful things to come. <laughs> and thank you for being uh, a part of the Charlie Company community. We are a sincere group of Godly warriors here, spiritual warriors, people on purpose and have a mission. I'm going to start us with a divine energy card. <clears throat> Thank you, Divine Spirit, guys, for your presence today for this reading for the collective. And thank you again for your uh, guidance and protection during the reading for myself and the collectives, collectives and the viewers. 35 card. It's a beautiful card. And I'll interpret that energy in just a moment. Let me pull one additional one. The 22, the number 22 energy card. And I will read now what it is that Spirit Guide would like for you to know. <clears throat> All right, we're going to start with the first card that came out, the 35 card. Spirit says that you. <laughs> you can start your celebration. This uh, card represents for you, Collective. It is a time to take off your work hat and let your hair down. It is time to go have fun. Uh, how wonderful. This is a Friday, a Friday night. So maybe you should get out for a little bit and have a little fun. Uh, <clears throat> sing, dance, play, and be wild. <laughs> That's what spirit says. <laughs> really let yourself loose. Let go of the stresses of your daily life for just a little while and get out and enjoy yourself like you used to before you had to, of course, grow up. <laughs> you know what that means. So this may be a wonderful weekend to get out and do that. Oh, my apologies. And then the court number 22. Look, I was about to, about to head out. <laughs> it says the grid. This is the grid. Um, the living energy matrix of Mother Earth and the secret pathways to other dimensions and realities of existence. This is like a birth um, type of rebirth energy card. The power of the sacred geometry within holds many keys that your subconscious is unlocking. This card shows your ability to explore and maneuver through other worlds and to bring information back from them. You may do this in the dream time when you sleep, during meditation, or even unknowingly while completely conscious and alert. Hidden within this card are messages that only you can receive and sit with this for a while. You might want to snapshot that. That is a specific energy that's for you collectives. Each individual will receive from Spirit Guide what it is they are to receive. <clears throat> All right. 
So there's major messages coming your way. And Spirit is also saying, get out and uh, <clears throat> stretch, your, stretch your wings. Get out and have a little bit of fun. Go listen to some music maybe, you know. Visit with uh, family and friends, you know, or if there's a social event or a religious event coming up this weekend, you know, Sunday, maybe you should think about going. All right. Thank you, Divine Spirit Guides. Let's go ahead and continue the reading and pull the cards for the collective <clears throat> and see what it is you would like for them to know today in this message. All right. First is the world card. The hermit. Six of Wands. Thank you, Divine Spirit, God, for your guidance and protection. Any negative energy has been sent to this channel, myself or my subscribers shall be dealt with accordingly. The Star. So as one cycle closes for you, collective, you have um, went in to study. Maybe you study it could be at school, but I feel this study to be from within. This this is something you've gone in to study for yourself. It could be something spiritual. It could be more about uh, who you are and what you have come here to do and your purpose. However, you are enlightened now and shall be moving forward victoriously and have full success and you will be glowing as the star because you have much to offer this world you have much to offer what may seem like a little to some is a lot to others and I always know that let's do this one again thank you divine spirit God Okay, same one, Knight of Swords. Yeah. Someone moving in haste. <laughs> fast movement, fast communication. Regards to King of Cups. lovers so you should be receiving communication from your person here eight of pentacles they've been working diligently on this approach and there's the emperor Spirit. Thank you, just find Spirit God. Okay, so I guess I got that answer real quick, like along with that too. Mm. Okay. You know, whatever you choose, you will have a happy, happy life. 
okay wow two of cups well you have some options here some major um proposals and commitments coming forth to you um you may be aware of one or two then of course you may not be aware of the other but you have some very interested suitors in you male or female here the Empress and your Ten of Cups. So these people are looking to have a solid relationship with you, Empress. You have a King of Cups, the Emperor, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, hmm. a Knight of Swords, These people are working diligently to make get ready to make this offer to you. Because you closed out a season with someone else. And so now you're moving forward into a new season. Yeah. And now here's the sun card. Along with the star card. And the high priestess. And that will be you, Empress. Whomever I'm speaking to that is in that Empress energy. You're also very well enlightened. And connected to source. Mm -hmm. Proper planning. Three of Wands. Looking forward. Looking forward to the future. Yeah. Whomever it is that you've closed the cycle out with is having a tower moment in their life, which is uh, it's pretty brutal. But tower moments are no joke. You could be left without a lot of different things in a tower moment. Your community, your family, your house, your automobile, your job, <laughs> you know, your just sense of security, your mental state is in flux. So, yeah, you closed the cycle out on that and you diverted yourself from this here situation, the Three of Swords. So, while this person in that energy of the tower in the Three of Swords who caused this, um, that's what they're dealing with. They're, they're receiving what they sent or gave to you, Empress, which was a broken heart. And I just did the reading on this. They are really showing up. Really showing up. You thought this was your forever person, but it was not. Judgment was called on whatever the snake-like activity that they did toward you, collective. Judgment has definitely been called on it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And the universe is balancing things out, temperance. And you, of course, had to go within to balance yourself out after this here heartbreak. That's crazy. People are just never satisfied. They're never satisfied. Look at all these three. Spirit said, "Take them. Five of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Eight of Swords. This is all the. This is why that Tower moment just bam come right on out. The that energy was projected right on out because this is the shit that they're sitting in. The Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. This is the nonsense they wanted you entrapped in, but you're a whole Empress with High Priest and High Priestess." The star and the sun. 
<laughs> with the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands coming. Is the Four of Wands on here yet? Okay, well, the Lovers and the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. How dare they? Was it even necessary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like it was a big mouth queen of wands that had a whole lot to do with with the demise of your uh past love relationship collector. Mm-hmm. But you still have Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. You still have it all. They didn't stop nothing. They did not stop your flow. They might have whomever your lover was. That's the flow they stopped. They stopped their own. This 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 nasty Queen of Wands stopped her own and your ex lover's flow. <laughs> they didn't stop anything good that's coming through to you. You know, Spirit even told you to get out and celebrate, go out and dance, party, listen to good music, food, wine, and drinks, you know, enjoy yourself. You've earned it. You have truly earned it. The second court out was a hermit. Yeah, you went in. You introspected for yourself. You went in, took a look at things, and decided, look, I can't change these other fools out here, but I know who I can change, and that's me. That's how I see things. That's how I let things, that's how tolerant I've been. I can change my boundary levels, too, and where I draw the line in the sand. Yes, indeed. Yes. Mm-hmm, to a source. Now, they don't know what, what to do, which way to go. And, 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 and what decision they should make is best for them because the plan did not involve them having the tower moment, them going through heartbreak themselves, and the universe casting judgment on their ass, they sneaky asses. What they thought, all of this now here, from the five of swords to the ten of wands to the eight of swords to the queen uh, to the two of swords, they thought that was all on you, but you're the empress and the high priestess. Now, how in the hell is that going to happen? Yeah. Once again, some unwise ass idiots out here not knowing who they messing with. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah, they pulled the seven of swords on. Oh, baby, this was some ugly shit. The ten of swords is out here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and the nine of swords. Now they want to reprieve. They want the universe to say, hold on, give me a second. Let me breathe. Let me kiss myself. I done did too damn much to the wrong one. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. They're not going to catch no reprieve at this moment in time. They ask for this ass kicking from the universe, and they shall receive it. Trust and believe that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why you go over here with your ten of cups? Double confirmation. Everything looking lovely for you. Yeah. All this here whole trenches and holes they dug up, they didn't do them but dig up their own burial because it's not even touching you. Mm. Oh, I tell you. Look what. Ooh -wee. Baby, big money, big money, big money. Ten of Pentecost. The chariot, you are just primed and ready. Primed and ready for your new future, your new journey, baby. Because it's beautiful. Will of fortunes, lovers, Emperors, <laughs> King of Cups coming at you. You know, you got options standing here. And all of these options that you're looking forward to are good options, good prospects. Not no shenanigans. Not no in disguise as karmics. Not no in disguise as soulmate and, and twin flames. Not no disguise as being your divine masculine or your divine feminine. No. You got the real deal, Holyfield, coming toward you. That's why the first thing was that. It's a wrap. The world card. They shut it down quick. They shut it down quick. They done slid them out a slice of judgment and some temperance pie. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they got the whole cake on the tower and the three of swords, though, because everything they wished upon you came back to them and held it true. That was for them to eat, not you. You got steak and caviar and things of such to look forward to. I don't want to talk about what they eat. Probably some of that stuff they have to eat that chum in the big brother house. <laughs> they eat. I'm, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. Spirit, I'm gonna keep going. Spirit. Yeah, confirmation. Yeah, keep looking forward. That's why they say you can uh, get out and enjoy and celebrate. You know, <laughs> baby. Oh, when they try to come for you, <laughs> baby. You must know uh, Taekwondo or some shit, cause baby, you didn't even get a lick. On you, you didn't even suffer a lick. These fools done got their ass beat down, drug. <laughs> the same buses and trucks and semi trailers they pulled up. That was vroom, vroom. they were revving the. <laughs> they were revving it up. They were ready to drive over your ass over and over and over. But little did they know your perfumed ass was the empress in high priestess <laughs> and was guided so gently by the sun itself. <laughs> They done opened up a Pandora's box, a, a can of whoop, <laughs> whoop ass on their <laughs> Baby, it's not pretty over there. It's not pretty over there. Well, it's not pretty. <laughs> Folks done turned on their ass. They trapped that they set for you and trapped themselves. <laughs> <sighs> oh, try to let me try to get together, baby. When well, you got this much shit coming out, what time that tower preceded all of these here cards? I'm just saying it ain't pretty at all. I mean, they could be sending out SOS signals to you. You, the Empress and High Priest, they figured you have some kind of powers and you directly connected the sword. Maybe you could help lighten some of this ass whooping that they're getting. I, I don't know if it's that, that part's in your hand. <laughs> God may have already taken your emotions into consideration. Like, but well, you know, I really don't want to see them hurt too bad. But, yeah, they did ask for it. God said, move it around, move it around, move it around. Go sit down. I got this. <laughs> Baby. He whooping that ass. <laughs> he whooping that ass. <laughs> This is just, just, just a page of cups. <laughs> I, I doubt that little bit of good news is for you. <laughs> child, I'm so sorry, y'all. When, when people sit up and do the damn most, I mean, they did the most. <laughs> they ran your ass through the ringer. On the streets. They talked about you like you was a dog. They went up against you. They were trying to put a little of this and a little of that together and try to stir it up against you. <laughs> they done defeated their damn selves. Missing with the Empress and the High Priestess. Baby. Is <laughs> this you mad? <laughs> They're going to need some of this strength that you have, too. <laughs> but see, they're not a real warrior like you. Divine. The divine one, they're not like you. There's that strength card. <laughs> that nine of pentacles. <laughs> this you, baby. Nine of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. I mean, you just got pentacle, pentacles. Money, money, money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, you had to endure a lot. You you be more than gracious and, and, and grateful to receive your blessings. Don't let nobody think, well, yeah, I don't know how you can feel good about all that you have. Why the, these idiots is going through, you feel real damn good about what you have. Because those idiots were the idiots that initiated the bullshit. And then they'll wrap themselves up in duct tape. <laughs> Fire, uh, uh, uh. 
fisherman's line, the fisherman's ropes and lines with the hooks in them. They all bounded up. <laughs> they can't even come out and say shit because there ain't nothing to say. Nothing but the truth. They don't even want to face that. They just standing around looking at each other. Just, just take it. Baby, they, they said it hard. They're hitting it hard. But what can they do but suck it up and take the shit? Because they were willing to go back and, and get together <clears throat> to hurt you so bad. Cause demise to you, honey. They weren't thinking about you then when they thought they were gonna just <coughs> pull a fast one. <laughs> they were gonna pull a fast one. <laughs> oh yeah, they gonna be hurting now. No, no, no. And they're the ones hurting now. That's who's hurting. But my, I'm, I'm, a <laughs> baby. I mean, when I say you gonna have it going, you gonna have it going. There's four wands right there. Looking for ones was somewhere. <laughs> yes, love and happiness. That's what you got, baby. That's what you have coming to you. <clears throat> if it hadn't already been solidified yet, trust and believe you got some good love and happiness coming to you, honey. Yeah, they they made the fool out of they said, <laughs> and that be the truth, says the Lord. <laughs> Ace of Wands. That be the truth. They made a fool out of they said. <laughs> Told you, co spirit, three of pentacles got together. They they got together for the heartbreak. Now they gotta stay together for the tower moments, the judgment of the ass kicking, the balancing out the the bullshit that they put did toward you. Now they gotta suck up with the five of swords, the ten of wands, the ten of swords. Now they get some deceit of their own seven of swords, <laughs> nine of wands, the eight of swords, the two of swords. <laughs> I bet you that fool of never listen to nothing else that stank ass Queen of Wands got to say. <laughs> that bitch didn't know you. <laughs> this is bitch, she didn't know who you were, did she? <laughs> I'm about to go on to the, I'm about to go on to the next part. I can't do it. <laughs> This bitch does not know who the hell you were. <laughs> Girl, let's see what that. Wait a minute, baby. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Woo, baby, look here. Let me see if they got anything they might want to say. A little SOS. <laughs> I know that I crossed the line with you. <laughs> yeah, because they got their lines all crisscrossed up in them ass. <laughs> they can't even get them ten of swords out there on back. They didn't know it hurts worse on the boomerang. See, when you send it out, woo, 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 and it come back, it sticks even tougher. <laughs> oh, now they say I remember every detail of that day. It must be the last time you guys interacted. I had something to say. Or you said something to them, or they, whatever they did, they don't, they ain't forgetting it. They remember the detail of what set this shit in motion. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm trying to get it together. For sake, I look for you everywhere. <laughs> I bet you they, I bet you they look for you in a bowl of cereal day out the daylight with five flashlights. <laughs> they want out of this shit. They want some reprieve. I told you, they need somebody to help them out. Can't nobody take this karma off of them. But then, if they have yet to. Come and state the facts as they are and was. <clears throat> They're going to continue to deal with this shit until they make it right. <clears throat> These people is so. Oh, God. Look, at, I feel you even though we are apart. I know you feel them. Oh, but you're chill. Who wouldn't feel empress and a high priestess, a divine individual? Shit. <laughs> Say I'm afraid to contact you. Well, you ought to be. <laughs> you ought to be. <laughs> but you know, if you're in your highest vibration, though, uh, Empress, 
high priestess, you can very well take, handle a conversation from these clowns, or at least the clown that, that you trusted in the situation, because I'm sure you didn't really trust the, well, I don't know. The Queen Juan could have had a funky, funky ass mask on too that made you think she was somewhat, you know, believable. But nonetheless, your person is gonna have to come clean to you. This gonna have to do with it what's necessary by the universal calling. They, I'm sure they've been telling them and telling them and telling them this is what you need to do. I mean. You probably all up in their dreams at night. You, you know, they wake up, look up in the mirror in the morning time. They see your face. <laughs> Ooh, it's not too much another person can do to in, in replace of a uh, empress and high priestess. It's, it's kind of hard to walk in that individual's shoes. You don't understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Yep, there it is. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Well, it, they might want to start trying to make their way to the uh, full, full-fledged full apology admission and apology. And maybe, you know, they could be granted that. Well, who knows? <laughs> they scared to speak up. Some of they scared to come. You should have been afraid to do what the hell you did to the Empress. First and foremost, clown. Tom, I'm afraid to contact you. You weren't afraid to do all that bull because it took a bunch of bull and you and this stank ass Queen of Wands to get together. And how dare y'all <laughs> come up against this person? You know, let's just see if the Archangels have anything to say and close this out. <laughs> Clear audience, Archangel Zatio says, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Hello, let me be that other people today, baby. <laughs> be wise, don't walk backwards, walk forwards. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> and uh, chakra clearing, it says, Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Uh, email me if you need to know more about that. It's in the description box. Healing dot energies three six five at gmail dot com and breathe. Archangel Raphael says, take several deep breaths. And exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Very good. Well, come on up out your hermit energy and go out. And get your dance on, uh, uh, you know, go listen to a little music, get you some entertainment, you know. Uh, maybe you can go out to movies, you know, or something like that. If you don't want to do movies at home, because, you know, we stream everything now. But uh, Spirit is uh, nudging you to get out and about. Uh, enjoy this moment, because things are about to pick up pace for you, my love. You will be busy. There will be people, places to go, people to meet, people to date, you know, choices to make. And lots of success and victory. You shall be fine. Even though you went through all of that, you shall be just fine. Because you stood the test and you uh, came out victoriously. So, I send lots of love and light to you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, like, like the videos. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And hit all for your notifications. I love you. Spread the word. Spread the love. Until next time. Peace.